Hey, what's up nerds? Welcome back to IT Toots, the channel where I teach you how to IT too. In today's tutorial, we're going to be installing Splunk Enterprise on Ubuntu operating system using the DEB file. All the commands which I'll be running today are available on my GitHub. I'll put a link in description and you can follow along with me. Now, before we run any of these commands, first we'll download Splunk. So head to your virtual machine or your Ubuntu operating system and just open a browser and we're just going to search download Splunk free and then just click the link that says download I'm already signed in so it's taking me to this page but if you weren't signed in you'd either have to sign in with your account or if you don't have an account, you just have to create an account and then sign in. Uh, once you come to this page, click Linux. And we're interested in the .dev file, which is for Ubuntu. Click download now. Now you have two options. Uh, one is you just download the file here uh, just by clicking OK. The other option is up here under useful tools you have the option to use the wget link and this is what we'll be doing today so alright so let's start here okay so we're switching to root user if you do not have wget installed already you can run this command I already have it installed so I'll go to the next command And then I'll just paste that in. Okay, so our file has finished downloading. If we run a ls lah, there we go, we can see Splunk 8.1. Alright. Now, next we would run, we'll use the dpkg-i command. And then we just do our Splunk. So you can just type the first couple of letters, then push tab to complete and push enter. Okay, now it's completed. Now we can check the op directory and do an ls and yeah you can see Splunk is installed. Alright next we are going to start Splunk. So copy the next command. Now this is where you have to enter the username and password. So for me I'm just going to use the default which is admin and then enter your super secure password confirm and here we go okay so now Splunk is running if we do a, a top we'll be able to see the Splunk but it's currently running as root so next up we will stop Splunk Okay, then let's go back. Now we're going to run this command. Okay, now we're going to run this command, which is going to configure Splunk to run at boot time and also to run as the user Splunk. And that's complete. Now we're just going to change the owner of all the Splunk files to Splunk. And 
and then we're going to start Splunk. Okay, now if we do a top again, we'll be able to see Splunk running and we can see the user is now Splunk. So th this is one of the best practices. You, you shouldn't really have Splunk running as a root user. All right, now to test that it's working, copy the link below, open up your browser and paste it in. And there we go. We're greeted with the Splunk login page. So I can just put in your username and password. And there you have it. We've just installed Splunk Enterprise and it is literally as easy as that. Thank you guys and girls for joining me. Okay guys and girls, smash the like button if you've made it this far and don't forget to subscribe. I have some really good ideas for some upcoming content and you are not going to want to miss this. <laughs>